In this lecture, I am going to show you how to serve static files from the server. So, static files could be anything like HTML, image, CSS, PDF, etc. And to do that, we have a built in middleware in Express.js that is Express.StaticFunction. Don't worry about middleware, we will understand practically how we can develop our own middleware and what is the purpose of middleware. But at the moment, we are trying to implement some basic functionalities to get acquainted with the Express.js environment. Let me create one public folder from which the static will be served. And let me put one image in this folder. So now to serve any file from this folder, I am going to write app.use express.static function. This function expects a path as a parameter. That is, we need to pass the path of the folder from where to serve the static files. Now I am going to write public in the function. The path that is provided here is relative to this directory. That is the place from where the node server is launched. However, we can also pass absolute path like dot slash public. But that is not needed here because the index.js file is in the root of this directory. Just by writing this simple line of code, we are ready to serve static files. Before I run this, I'm going to install one package that is nodemon. Nodemon watches for any changes in the files and automatically restarts the server. In the terminal, I will write npm i nodemon hyphen g. Hyphen G is for global installation. That means it will be installed in the node underscore modules of Node.js installation path and will be accessible in any application. We do not have to install this explicitly in applications now. And now in place of node, I will write nodemon index.js. In the browser, I can simply write localhost 5000 slash node.png and here is the image. This static image is served by the server. Any static files that need to be served can be placed in this particular public folder. I am creating different folders here to structure things like image, CSS, JS, pages which will contain HTML and we can create more as per our requirements. I'm going to create one HTML page, let's say index.html and quickly write here doc type HTML head body and then h1 served from static pages and h4 index.js. Save this and you can see that as soon as I save the file, the nodemon server has restarted itself. Otherwise, you had to press Ctrl C to stop running it, make the changes, save it and you run it again. This entire process is now in a way automated with the help of nodemon. Okay, now to serve this index HTML, what will I write here in the URL? Certainly localhost 5000 slash pages and enter. So here is the content of index.html. Here I am not writing index.html explicitly because in terms of web application, the name index is considered to be an entry point. That means if any folder has a file named as index, it will be served by default. We do not need to explicitly mention it. Same way we can serve any CSS, JavaScript, PDF, etc. Now I am creating one style.css file in this CSS folder and in this file I am going to give some styles to h1. I'll say h1 curly brackets and let me add color to it. So I'll say green and now I'm going to link this CSS in the index HTML. To link the CSS file in HTML, I'll give 
the link tag relation that is rel equals stylesheet and the path that is href slash css slash style dot css. Let's save this and refresh the page. So now the h1 tag is green colored. That means the CSS that we have applied is also delivered to the client. Now we will go ahead and also add JavaScript. In JS folder, here I am creating one file, script.js. And for now, I am simply writing alert, welcome to Node.js. And now I am going to add this as well in the index.html and the output. To add JS files in HTML, I'll write a script tag, script href equals slash js slash script.js. Let's save this and refresh the browser. So this is how we serve static files in Node.js. Going further, we will fine tune this as a static website. Let's talk about the question and the assignment. The assignment should have two different pages about and dashboard and apply CSS styling. All right, so let's begin. Now I'm going to add two more pages in the pages folder about HTML and dashboard HTML. For now, I am simply going to copy paste the content of index HTML and change the text to identify the page. So in about HTML, I'm writing about and in dashboard, let me write dashboard. In about HTML, I'm also going to add one image. I'll say image tag. The image source src is equal to slash image slash node dot png. And let me close the image tag. Save all the files and now refresh the browser. So this is our index page. Now I'm going to add about HTML in the URL. Enter and this is the about page. And let's see dashboard.html. And here we have the dashboard page delivered.